Hey, are you new to the club? Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell beside it. See ya. What's up everyone? Welcome to Spiller Kenzie channel and today this video is about GameSir VX2 Aim Switch. This is the new product lineup from GameSir. Um, we got this device directly from Indiegogo as an early backer and I got two GameSir here. So the other one I will be giving it away. So check out the video later for more information about it. So let's start the unboxing first. So we will do the unboxing and then later on some installation. But for this video, this is going to be Nintendo Switch installation. Sorry. And for the other consoles like Xbox and PS4, maybe PS4 I don't have because I don't have a PS4 right now. I, I have an Xbox, so I will also be doing a separate video on how to install this GameStar VX2. So on the box here is the add numbers of things. For example, the right stick toggle and then the faster wireless um wireless signal so there will be no delay they said they claim it so oh that's the big reveal and it is covered by a plastic cover it's a hard plastic really and it's really hard to remove so okay it's quite really hard to remove but i still managed to do it and here here you go So I did some ASMR just to like listen to how clicky this keyboard is. I like it as a mechanical keyboard and yeah, it is quite sturdy and the build is pretty solid. And here you are, there are some sticker and then a Nintendo Switch um, instruction. It's a separate instruction for Nintendo Switch, but there's another manual. So this one is... It's like a letter from games where like thank you for buying this product yada 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 and and let's go to the other manual this manual is like available for many different languages japanese chinese and english so the mouse the mouse i like it but i don't like the design it's quite light for me and this is wired so if the mouse is a bit of light it's a bit light it can have like a full back effect when you're moving and then if you uh, reach a certain limit or certain threshold threshold it will full back the mouse and it will full back hard because it is quite light maybe you have to uh ha um bigger space for your mouse pad Okay, let's go to the wireless receiver. This is the most important part of what's in the box, aside from the keyboard and mouse. If you lose this one, you might, your game service will not work. So this one is for the charging cable. This is a USB-C cable, remember that USB-C cable. And the other one, and the last one I think, is the USB-C to usb converter because if you're using your nintendo switch out of your dock you might need this and nothing there nothing less okay and let's try turning on the mouse so the mouse is working i'm using my game sir um dock to, to power to power the mouse and it's quite cool there's a it, there's uh there's it's a normal mouse where it has like a dpi selector and then there's a side side buttons like a um, one two buttons I, f I, I forgot what it, what are these buttons for and like what i said it's quite light for my for my liking and this one it's really heavy and there are like 30 keys in there including the analogs one not analogs but the it's like a right stick emulator Let's turn it over and on the side you will see that this is the switch button for your for your keyboard and you don't have to click click it you have to toggle the, the switch 
and you will see on the side as well that this is where your charging cable later if you need it you need this one and there you go it is turning on and let's connect our mouse inside uh, along with it so the initial setup for for me it's quite easy so um, just plug in and then turn it on and that's it but later on I'll be showing you more in-depth way of installing and using it for example for Nintendo Switch and that's going to be our first video for this series we'll be adding more for Xbox One or maybe if we can find um, PS4 that we can test and let's try to show this one this one is really heavy and this is for our giveaway so for, for you to join the giveaway contest make sure to subscribe and like this video and comment say hi so you will be automatically included for the raffle draw so we will be doing the raffle after reaching 2000 subscribers so do it now click the subscribe button and the like button okay for the installation I have my Nintendo Switch here and this video is for Nintendo Switch for the meantime so we'll be having like what I said we'll be having for other consoles so for my Nintendo Switch I installed a couple of games for for example Fortnite Paladins, Realm Real, and Knives Out. So if you notice, Knives Out is not available on American, or US, or other regions. Or it's only available on Japan region. So I created an account just to get this game. By the way, guys, this is free. I'm very much familiar with this game because I, I, I also play this game on mobile devices. So I'm quite um, surprised that Net is um, release a uh, port of this game to Nintendo Switch so I tested it and then I don't know if I'm going to include it on one of my gameplay but maybe in the future I'll do it so since we're not using the Nintendo dock um, I'm using the USB-C to USB plug-in adapter so you don't have to use it if you're using on a dock just put the USB cable to the dock to the dock's um, USB port on the side and there you go that's that's the only thing that we need to do once we plug plug the the receiver for games or vx2 it will light up meaning it is now ready to sync for your keyboard and mouse so the next thing to do is to open your game or vx2 keyboard by toggling up your device it will light up it will show the the it will light up and there you go so you will notice that it was blinking earlier and now it is the the led the blue led light is now stable meaning this is already synced so you don't have to do anything unlike when you're using it on Xbox and PS4 you need to bind your controller first in order to work for this one I'll be demoing so you will see that um, even the mouse it can control the the dashboard menu of of your Nintendo switch is quite pretty cool and let's try out our keyboard if it's working so I'll be using the W A S D or W S A D controller so everything seems to be working and that's it but we're not yet done because um, there's another part of the installation or or this setup you need to configure your your game so let's go to the next part of before we go to the game configuration we will discuss something important the keyboard and how to use it so for gaming of course you will, you will be familiar with WASAD but in terms of configuration there are two keys that you need to be aware of the F4 and F5 in order for you to activate it you have to click it or the combination of two keys like F and F4 or function F4 and function F5 so F4 is for your configuration if you want to change something on your mouse sensitivity or key bindings you have to click first FNF4 so you will see here that there will be 
um, the red indicator will turn into blue and then the left side icon is like a Bluetooth connection meaning it is looking for something to pair with and this is where your mobile phone will you will be needing your mobile phone here um, this app is called Gcrook so you need to install Gcrook on your phone this is available for iOS and Android devices so download it and then it will automatically pair with your GameSer VX2 keyboard. And after that, you will now able to change some of the settings. So the next thing is the FN F5 or function F5. So once you're done, once you're done configuring, you need to get back to your game. Let's say, for example, you're, you're in the middle of the game and then you feel that this key binding is not it's not really suits you you have to change it to f to c uh, key and after changing it from f and f4 you have to go back to the game so you need to click the f and f5 f and f5 will somehow disconnect you for a little bit like three seconds and after that you can you can play now and that's it so for led the green indicator means it is already synced to your keyboard and mouse the blue one from the very right side the far right side is for the um, battery indicator and the red one is for the keyboard meaning you're already in game so you can now change uh you can now play your game again okay we're good to go the installation is done let's play but before that I want to discuss this little addition for VX2 aim switch. So if you're playing Fortnite or you're playing Realm Real, you're used to this right stick um, combination. Um, before I was using Sim Apex, I'm used to zero and nine key bindings, but this one, it's like you're still playing on joy joypad or controller, but using a keyboard and mouse because you can easily reach this right stick or joystick using your your thumb and it's also quite near to your space bar so it's it's really helpful when you need to like top right top up and down so yeah okay guys let's go to the gameplay and then let's play fortnite and paladins <laughs>
Thank you guys for tuning in and for this video we only played Fortnite. So if you want more videos, click the subscribe button and the like button as well. So we'll be posting more about GameServe VX2.